yeah, we, we can talk about this. So I'm not going to talk about why we did this, but uh, the reaction to it and then a little advice from Gabe. Uh, so, you know, we announced it at E3. Um, we're in the theater as Microsoft, the video plays on Microsoft. People are just cheering. It's awesome. Day one press is all awesome. Day two press turns. Day two press is the community's mad. Now we listen to the community. I'm not mad at people being mad. That's fine. You're allowed to be mad. Uh, but it's just rough, right? It's rough day two. And I do this thing where I say, hey, you can email me if you're mad and let's talk about this. And I do that for two, th two reasons. One, so people can feel like they have some feedback into the process and that their voice is heard. Uh, and I am reading the emails. And two, so I can respond to some of them and see kind of how I should talk about this. Like what's what works with them so that I can help, help communicate this and understand this. Um, not much. Then we go to England later, uh, sometime later. I get the dates confused on this. Uh, and we are just doing uh, this EA press thing where it's every 10 minutes you do press. So from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. you just do press. Every 10 minutes it's somebody new. Every 10 minutes you're getting asked the same questions again and again and again. No one's talking about the game. It is brutal. It is painful. Me and Doug Lombardi end that day. And we're just staring at each other of like, oh dear God, let's go drink. Uh, and then we go to do that game day two. We keep doing this. This is press. We go to Comic-Con. Uh, do some really great press. People talking about New Orleans. They're loving it. It's, it's cool. And then, uh, this, is, this is how old this is, uh, AOL TV or something's like, hey, we're going to do this live. It's like, they're, that's their big co-show. They're the Jeff Keighley of the day. And um, I talked to them ahead of time. They're not going to ask us anything about the uh, boycott at all, just about New Orleans. The guy, like, had been there and, you know, like, I'd lived there. So I, I know the place well. And uh, just going on about it. Uh, we start it. Very first thing he asks is, so why are you making this game? The boycott clearly says they don't want it. So that just hurts, right? Uh, I get a text from Gabe, uh, and his advice is uh, you should smile more. I never know if that's ironic. I never followed up with him. I was a little, 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 uh, I need a little break from that. But it's good advice. You should smile and be positive because then people will be positive with you. So then we invited people out to come see it. I told those guys when they um, announced it to their group that, hey, this isn't going to work. People are still going to be mad at you because there's a million reasons why people are mad, not just one. You're just going to say one, and they're not going to like it. Um, we release people are playing it, even though they said they were going to boycott it. Hey, that's cool. I am not mad at those people. I'm not whatever. Right. So then I follow up and I'm like, Hey, I'm going to email some of those people and ask them how we did. So I'm like three, four in and yeah, it's all positive. Get to the fifth one. He goes like, F you, I hope you die. I'm going to come to your house and kill you. And I'm like, yeah, I should probably just stop poking this bear. Like we, we won, like we did. Okay. People are happy. They're playing the game. They get it. Um, so yeah, that was the hard from June to November launch. Um, dealing with a lot of negativity towards a game I love uh, with a community that I knew would love it and I was just failing at communicating.